the industry is crying out for people, um, uh, whether it be on the man guarding side, physical security, or even on the other the electronic security side of things. That there are there are not enough. Uh, uh, people in, in, in universities going through going through technical uh, uh, technical degrees, so we need to bring these people into uh, in, into our businesses and train them up, um, and, and and provide them with the education and the, and the training that in the end not only benefits them but it benefits the organisation. It benefits us because we get a lot, of, you know, we get very very enthusiastic people and get some new ideas coming into the business. The, there's a lot of um, uh, initiatives within the security industry uh, that's driven by Skills for Security, the BSIA, um, um, CSL, uh, 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 we're actually encouraging you know, people to, uh, to, to, to sign up for, you know, for apprenticeships. Uh, within the, within the security industry, apprenticeships uh, is something that's very very close to uh, to, to, to to my heart uh, here at TDSI. I go back five or six years ago. We actually tried very hard to interest students to to have what is now called a higher level of pen, uh, uh, um, apprenticeship, but they didn't really exist um, uh, then. Um, but with the whole sort of you know, concept of taking a, a, a school leaver with good A levels yeah, and putting them through day release programs to get uh, an HND uh, or a degree and then keep them uh, keep them in the business, the, the it's a lot easier to do that now. There are higher level uh, apprenticeships um, that uh, that students can uh, can you know, can apply for, um, and 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 it's a serious way of them. Yeah, coming into the workforce, um, getting an education, um, but getting an education that's not going to cost them a fortune, that's not going to leave them um, with so much debt.